So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. This is his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of London, England, Dollar Bill. And now we see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Please kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Just missed. 
misses with the straight right. Great punch. Jab attempted. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Big kick lands. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. Able to land with that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missed with the leg kick. Punch over the top. Big roundhouse now, just misses. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the play exactly where you want. And they separate. 20 seconds left. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Not there. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Oh! Oh, he might be out. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. Throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Very tricky when he throws 
throws that body kick. Got clip with the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Back and forth we go. the target so a huge moment here now we'll see if he can follow it. oh what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment he deserves this moment go finish this fight no no really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. He blocks the punch. Throwing with authority. Blocks the shot. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big leg kick land. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice strike. Ooh, what a head kick. Right on the button. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big kick land. Two rounds in the books.
continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Just misses with that one. Nice sneaky head kick. Good right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Effective punch there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Beautiful body kick. Punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Final seconds of round three. You gotta check. Low leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. 
no glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Still nice body kick lands. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Wow, vicious uppercut. Stances here. What a body. Keep your hands up. Your Just missed with the left there. A beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice kick. Lee's now dealing with a cheap cut. Nice right hand. Under three minutes remain in round four. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the wrong stop. Beat his leg up. Circling towards the left now. Powerful leg kick lands. What a punch. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Great hand there, nice job by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, huge block! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice head kick. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big head kick lands. Wind it up on the right there to know that. One, two there. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. 
That jab is fast. Look at that jab. He lands flush with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment to change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. Fifth and final round. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. You can't take many of those, you better check. Just misses with the right. Now connects with the right. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Right punches there. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Way to hide that leg kick. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Well time needed the body. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Big body kick. Do not jack up. Let's go forward now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice kick. Let's go. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ninety seconds and counting to go in the fight. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Real sneaky body kick. Big kick. Beautiful straight counter. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. 
There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice punch lands. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. And they separate. Another shot lands upstairs. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.